standing at the birthplace of Andrew Johnson, 17th President of the United States. This marker is on Fayetteville Street, just east of Hargrave Street. So if you want to come check it out, and Andrew Johnson was not actually born here. He was born about 125 feet that way, in a small kitchen. So Andrew Johnson was the 17th President of the United States, serving only one term from 1865 to 1869. And he was never actually elected president. He was sworn in as Lincoln's vice president, and when Abe Lincoln was assassinated, only six weeks later, he became the president. Uh, making so some backstory to Johnston. He was born on December 29th, 1808, and he was born into a very poor family. None of them educated to a, uh, and they were tailors. So he became apprenticed as a tailor at the age of 10, and was supposed to serve to the age of 21 to his employer, James Selby, but he ran away at the age of 15. And he was on the road for two years, finding work in the other parts of North Carolina and South Carolina. And all the while, there was a reward for him of $10 by his employer. So at the age of 17, and two years after he ran away, he uh, met up with his family and moved to Greenville, Tennessee, and started a successful tailor shop with his father. His political life began in Tennessee in 1835, when he was elected to the House of Reps, uh, merely because he was a popular man in town, and the previous uh, representative had been impeached or something. Impeached. He officially named himself a Democrat in 1839. Previously, he had just ran on uh, his own ideas. And in 1840, he was elected to a two-year term in the Tennessee Senate. And after two years, he returned to the House of Reps, Tennessee House of Reps, for the next 10 years. And some of his political foundations were while he was uh, House of Rep, and he also was governor of Tennessee, uh, Greenville at the time. Uh, he liked limited government spending, anti-abolitionism, and he was very, very pro-slavery. All of which were common in Southern Democrats, but which is the opposite of Democrats today. Uh, skip ahead to 1865 when Johnston was elected Vice President to Abraham Lincoln by a vote of 491 to, in the House of Reps to his uh, opponents who got 17 and 8. So he was very popular in the government. Uh, the night of Lincoln's assassination, Johnston was supposedly going to be assassinated as well, but the would-be assassin got drunk, George Atzerott, and never showed up. So Johnston was sworn in as president uh, in 1865, yeah, in 1865. Uh, one of the main points of his presidency was no rights for African Americans, he didn't really particularly care, he left it up to the states. And in the white south, freed men, he wanted them to be politically active because oftentimes they would vote, even though they were free, they would vote with their previous owners' thoughts and political ideas, so he advocated for that. Uh, his opposition in the while president was the radical Republicans throughout the country, and people in the north did not like him very much because of the slavery thing. So three years later, he was impeached in 1869 for violating the Tenure of Office Act, which is kind of small, it says the president can only remove officers in power in the offices uh, with approval of the Senate, and he tried to remove the Secretary of War, uh, and without getting the Senate's approval, so the Senate caught him on that, and he was impeached six months later. He was the first president ever to be impeached in the United States, and even though he was impeached, he remained popular with Southerners. Southern voters who were very uh, pro-slavery. Andrew Johnson died on July 31st, 1875.